I'm here with Tom Donny. He is the curator of the Saab Heritage Museum in Sturgis, South Dakota, our United States-based Saab Museum. Um, that's where the SOC was at last year, but this year we're in Chicago and he's brought out one of his beautiful Saabs. So we're gonna take this thing for a ride along, but before we do that, I wanted to have Tom kind of quickly go over the car and tell you us bet. a little bit about it. So this is a 1961 Model 96. This originally would have had the 42 horsepower single carb engine. We have retroed it to a GT, so now we got a whopping 54 horse or so, so it's got triple carbs, oil injection. We've also, because we drive this car, we've actually driven this car into Canada. We've driven it to Mexico with my entire family, three kids and my wife. Um, it's been to Jay Leno's garage. This is the one we took the CJ with. So it's been all over the country. Uh, we've got up upgraded disc brakes on the back, or on the front. And then we also have disc brakes on the rear, which is really unusual. Oh, wow. Well, we do a custom, kind of a custom kit to put disc brakes on the rear too. Oh, are, are those brakes off of another Saab? Or? Of course, 9,000. <laughs> yeah, and then these are 9.5 heated ventilated seats. I used to have 9,000 aero heated seats. So we've customized it a little bit too. We do tow stuff with it, believe it or not. And we've got a hitch and of course our hook'em horns. And then uh, we have to have some nuts and a, well, whatever that is, right? <laughs> I asked a lady yesterday if she wanted to see those particular items. And, she didn't uh, quite understand what I meant. <laughs> anyway. Are these all the uh, owner's conventions you've taken in this particular this car, car too? All these, yes. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. But oddly, it didn't right. make uh, South Dakota last year because we had an Iowa. <laughs> well, we had a few other cars. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just a few. Yeah, and the trucks are pretty spacious. So we we uh, hauled out all of our, all of our supplies. And uh, I think this car had about five cases of... Uh, soda pop in it and uh we brought it and tools and everything and yeah it's we just took the spare out and gave us some extra room so can you tell me briefly about this car's nickname and how it got that nickname because this is a really yeah, cool this story is, this is a good car so this was originally owned by larry stroker williams and for those that are unfamiliar with larry he passed away in 1998 unfortunately but he was kind of the unofficial ambassador for the u.s in sobs and uh, he would have been our version of Eric Carlson, a very colorful guy. But he bought this car and discovered that there was a hole right here. So we've siliconed it shut. But if you look back on the inside here, you can see it looks like it's a bullet went through this car. So he figured this had to be used in a getaway because he robbed a bank back in the 60s. You'd jump in your Saab two-stroke and drive away and get shot by the local sheriff. And you'd leave, a, instead of a breadcrumb trail on GPS, with this you'd leave an oil trail of smoke that you drove away. <laughs> so he named it the getaway car because of the bullet hole. And that name has stuck. And we've kept it after after uh, Larry's widow sold it to us, a uh, Catholic. All those years. All those years ago, yeah. That was 1998. And when oh. he had it, it didn't have rear brakes. He was notorious for only one windshield wiper, no rear brakes, and he would survive on a wing and a prayer, and I called it Larry Luck. No one else could do what he did. What do you say, should we take this thing for a ride and hear how it sounds? Let's see if we can get her running. Anytime anyone drives one of these old two strokes just down the aisles, everyone just stops and looks at it. It's amazing. Yeah, this one has a little unique sound. I've got dual exhaust with uh, a pair of uh, cherry bombs on the back. Look at all the phones out. <laughs> So 
So this is a three on the tree, correct? This is actually a four speed on oh, the tree. Oh, it's a four speed. I've retroed it. Um, I just haven't changed the shifter, so it still shifts backwards. So first gear is up and forward. Second gear is forward and down. Huh. It's a little different. <laughs> Yeah, and they have free wheeling, so you know we can shift without the clutch as long as we're going fast enough. Or so we can shift all over there without a clutch. That's yeah, awesome. it's kind of an, a neat feature. And I can shift into low here as I slow down, and as long as I don't come to a complete stop, not using the clutch I'm at not all. Not using the clutch at all. And then as you shift up to a higher gear, you just have to let the engine RPMs drop below the uh, transmission input shift speed. Just slide right in the gear. Slide right in. Now here we'll have to come to a complete stop. So we'll go ahead and uh, no clutch shift first. But then as we slow down here, we'll have to push it in. Oh, it sounds so awesome. Has a great sound. This one's a little louder than most. Some people don't like the loudness. I personally do. And both Jay Leno and Jerry Seinfeld say the exact same thing about the two-stroke Saab. It's probably the most unique driving experience you'll ever get in a car. It's just so different from everything else. A lot of people call it weird, quirky, whatever, but remember Saab was originally, it was about 11 years before Saab actually had a a, uh, and we got Saunders right here in his 97 x zero. Yeah, it's awesome. Saab only had uh, aircraft engineers for the first 11 years, roughly, building cars. So they became quirky right out of the gate you know, from day one. And uh, in fact, there's a guy in Sweden, one, he was the first engineer that ever was an automotive engineer working for Saab. And he wrote a book about that. And we've got the meeting in Sweden. So they are a quirky car, but you know they're extremely safe, made by an aircraft company. Saab, yes, you know, is a Swedish aircraft LLC or corporation, whatever you want to call it. It's just an acronym for that. And um, they've just been a, an unusual car. I really think as time goes, you were seeing a reflection in the market today that uh, values will increase because they are a high quality car. They're not a Back in the 60s and 70s, the Japanese stuff was was really cheaply made. Um, you know, that's how they could compete. Now, of course, today they make quality stuff. But the Saab was quality always. It's kind of like the guy said last night on one of the videos that showed it's, you know, we don't make compromises, we make Saabs. And there's a lot of truth in that. And that's a fun car to drive, too. Oh, I bet. Know, This is just a nice running car, well sorted out. You can, you can drive it anywhere in North America you want it. And we have. We've got a hat in the back. I think it's from Puerto Penasco, Mexico, where we took, took our family in uh, 2000. A thumbs up from the Grom right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, today you, know, you don't get as many thumbs up because everyone's on their phone. Uh, before <laughs> smartphones were prevalent in cars, when we would drive this, I mean, people just love it. And that's the same thing with the museum. People come in and they don't expect to see Saab Museum. They, go museum. they just, oh my God, they don't want to go. They don't think they're going to see the amount of cars that you have yeah. either. Yeah, and amazing. after they've been in there for an hour and a half, two hours, they walk away and they go, we love them. We just love them. You know, they're just amazing, it's amazing stories, amazing build, amazing history. So, Saab was never good at marketing. Well, I don't know how this is going to work out. We're going to find out. Jacob's going to try to drive this car, so well, yeah, we'll, we'll see. I did drive Jim Hutchings uh, three on the tree car back in uh, Maryland. So all right, well, this is just four on the tree. It's four on the tree. It's more advanced, and so. it's backwards. <laughs> so we're going to go forward and down for reverse. There we go. Clutch is really easy on this car. <laughs> Alright, so now I need to go 
go up to neutral, so now straight up. Oh, oh that's sorry, straight up. just straight up. There you go. And the brakes are kind of a suggestion. They're not really that good. So you really got to step on them. Huh? You really got to step on them, yeah. You'll be all right. All right, I think you're clear. And then we'll just come straight down when you're ready. Just straight down, yep. And you don't even need the clutch. All right, just a habit, you know? It is, yeah. So we'll just pause in neutral. All right, yeah, that's fine. Just let the clutch out. Just let, let the clutch out. Pull it to you and go up. There you go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just slides right in. Yeah, it does. It's almost as if you were using the clutch. Yep. And back down. Yep. And the fourth. That's so cool. First is up here, second's here, reverse is here, and all the way in. And then third is here, and fourth is here. So. Once you get used to it, it flows real well. Jay Leno got in it. Jerry, uh, James, I guess Seinfeld didn't drive this, but uh, Jay Leno got in this, and kind of like you, Jacob, he figured it out real fast. So, so Jay Leno sat in the seat. He drove this car. That's yep. So cool. Yep. And so he did a video with one of your other, or no, you you sold him a car. Correct? We sold him a 1958, I believe, a gray '93, and uh, that's the one he has in his collection of cars and they call it his grocery getter when you talk to the folks that work there with Jay he's one of his favorite cars to go on the weekend and get groceries all right we're on a little hill there I was like I don't want to roll back too much now we're rolling and again when you go to fourth you won't need a clutch just right. pause in neutral I gotta get that habit out of my head yeah <laughs> driving this like a pro. Wow, this is such an awesome experience. And I love the wood steering wheel in here too. We added that, that's obviously not factory, but it's just a really nice feel and it's, it's just a good wheel. Yeah, it's, then the turn signal's actually right here, so okay. it's on the right side. So, you know, no side mirror here, that was an accessory. Oh, and so the, you only got the driver's one, which is pretty you can small. See how small that is yeah. for, for some context there. Yep. It's not doing much for me. I'll, I will get over while I have the chance, though. I know I gotta make a left, so. Yeah, the original 92s had no outside mirror, so now you gotta clutch in. Yep, there you go. All oh, right. Uh, but we can, <laughs> but we can just kick it in neutral, and I do that a lot, and I know if you're studying for your CDL, okay, yep, straight up, you got it. Yep. Nice. Another hole. Nice. driven this car all over the North America. It's, it's amazing. It's just it's so cool. Yeah, you've driven the car Jay Leno drove. I, that's, that's just amazing to think about that. It's so cool. So you can go ahead and put it in first gear and get it ready. So, yep, so straight Forward. up. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah, the we hit. It's almost like a cam to V8, you know? It's yeah, like a little a, bit. It kind of shakes a little bit. And power steering? I can't quite tell. It's such a light car. It's right here. <laughs> no power steering. Yeah. Armstrong. And that's that wheel's a little smaller, so it is a little harder to steer with that smaller wheel. I mean, I haven't noticed it seems no lighter real, or no heavier than Correct. The, the Saabs I'm used to yeah. all have power steering. They're really narrow towers, tires on front, so that's part of it too, is they're, oh, okay. yeah, they're not very big. So. We're pulling back in, so time to be the center of attention once again. There you go. 
Yeah, Eric Carlson drove my 92 that we drove to Hilton Head in 1998 that uh, Radford Larry Williams died. And that was another car with no rear brakes hooked up. And I drove that car all the way to Hilton Head, South Carolina. Wow. Um, and Eric Carlson, during a big uh, SOC, had a huge group of people had gathered to watch Eric drive my 92. And he went flying through about 100 people, a crowd. A crowd had gathered in the middle of the road to watch him. And as Eric come flying through with the 92, it, it was like Moses parting the Red Sea. The people just, everyone moved, and he plowed right through the middle of all the people. Everyone got out of the way. They thought he did it on purpose. He got out, and he waved, and, oh, it's great, great, yeah, it's fantastic. He walks up to me, and he goes, you whispered in my ear, your brakes are no damn good. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he would be able to stop before the people, and he didn't quite make it. No, the steering in this car, I mean, now that I'm almost at a standstill, I can tell it's a little heavy, but... It's such a small car, this is going to be incredibly easy to park. Yep, so no, all the way forward, forward and down. And down right? yep. Okay. Oh, this is awesome. And the other That's thing good. is the temperature has just stayed right in the middle the whole time. It's... it's there you uh, go, and just put it, up and put it up in first gear, because that Don't parking brakes. Away. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> And you're all done. What an awesome experience. Thank you good? so much, Tom. Like seriously, this is this is amazing. I can't thank you enough. I mean I live. <laughs> I didn't kill him. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> He's young. <laughs> Alright. Well I'm glad you I'm glad you got the right. Yeah. And the open the door here, it's just a little pull up on the door handle. And it pops open. Jacob, uh, part of the deal was if he's going to drive the car, he's going to have to eat a jelly bean. This is kind of like truth or dare. So you get all these jelly beans. You don't know really what flavor it is. You spin the wheel. You either get a juicy pear or a booger. It's going to taste like. Or it's going to taste like birthday cake or dirty dishwasher. You got all these choices. So you spin that, and that'll choose what you get to eat. Oh, does that Would one count? Should we do it again? What do you want to do? All right, I'll do it. So it's berry blue or toothpaste. I think those are two pretty good options. Honestly. I think those are good too. Yeah, the toothpaste can't be that bad, although they said it lasted about two hours. I think that's berry. Oh, you're kidding me, right? I got lucky. I got two boogers last night. All right, let's see, <laughs> what, do it let's see what I get today. I got uh, toasted, uh, toasted marshmallow or stinky bug. <laughs> Again? Oh my god. You got some bad luck. <laughs> now our videographer, she's gonna take one. You got either a strawberry banana smoothie or a dead fish. Ashley, what'd you get? <laughs> dead fish? <laughs> <laughs> you got lucky. I got lucky. Twice today. All right. One. Yes, exactly. Well, Thank you so yep. much, Tom. Thanks for coming by. <laughs> Guys, I am just in awe. Tom asked me yesterday if I wanted to do a quick ride along in this, and I said, yes, please. And the next thing you know, he pulls over and he asks me if I want to drive it. I mean, it's just the amazing thing about the Saab community. We have so many generous, awesome people here, and uh, Tom being one of them with what he does with the museum, him and his wife. So if you're not familiar with the museum, go check out Sturgis, South Dakota. Uh, he's located there. They have hundreds and hundreds of sobs. I did a video on it last year, but you really got to go see it in person because you'll spend the whole day there. It's incredible. But with that being said, that's all I've got for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching.